Hey guys, Harsh here back in the video. So in this video, I will be showing you how you can use the LDR sensor which is short for light dependent resistor with ESP32 module. And this is just a basic simple video on how you can get started with the ESP32 module and use the LDR sensor with it to do some sort of action in your IoT projects. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So for this I am using the LDI sensor over here as you can see and as you can see this is a different type of sensor than you might have seen. Maybe you have just uh, this particular portion over here which is the photo register and this is breakout board over here so that uh, we can have the analog output digital output functionality but uh, for this case I will be only using the analog output and you can also use the digital output if you want to but uh, in this case I will be only using the analog output option. So it has as you can see a power LED as well to let you know that the board is powered on or not. And here is the photo register as you can see. Then we will obviously need our ESP32 module. And uh, the main problem here is that uh, unlike Arduino you don't have dedicated analog pins over here. So let me just uh, quickly tell you what are the analog pins. So every digital pin you see here, the GPIO pin is capable of uh, detecting analog signal. And in this row only the D15, D2 and D4 so these three pins are capable of detecting analog signals and rest cannot detect so still a lot of analog pins you get i think it's almost 15 or 13 something like that but uh, in that also you have uh, quite a few restrictions because uh, some pins you might not be able to use when you are using the wi-fi so just keep that in mind so i think it's uh, one or two pins that won't be available when you are using the wi-fi module now let's connect our LDI sensor to the board over here so first we will uh, mount this on a breadboard to make the connections a bit easier just like so now we will first connect the power which will be the 3.3 volts so this will go to the VCC on the LDI sensor over here as you can see the rightmost pin over here and next to that is the ground pin so we will connect the ground on the LDI sensor to the ground on the ESP32 module which is right next to the 3.3 volts then we will take the AO which is the analog output pin leftmost pin on the sensor and we will connect to the pin number D2 over here as you can see just like so so only 3 wire connection pretty nice and simple if you weren't able to follow it don't worry I have given the circuit diagram and code both in the description so you can check that out so now let's uh, connect this to our computer and program the board ok so before we do anything further first we need to make sure that our Arduino IDE is capable of uh, programming the ESP32 board so first of all what you have to do is just uh, copy this link I have given it in the description then what you have to do is just go to files then click on preferences so here you will find the additional board manager url and you have to paste your link here just like so i have done over here but uh, let's say if you have a uh, additional link then you can just uh, place a comma and then paste the link so as you can see i have put a comma right over here so this is my esp8266 package that i have installed previously and then i put a comma then pasted the link for the ESP32 package so after that you can just go ahead and click on ok then head over to tools and go to the boards and select the board managers so this little window will open up and it will update the boards manager so on the search bar on the top you have to type in ESP32 so this will show up and all you have to do is just click on the install button as you can see I have already installed it so that's why I am not getting the install option but uh, it will just show up right here so once that is installed you can go ahead and close it and restart your Arduino IDE. So here is the code as you can see and this is a pretty small code because we are just uh, using the basic principles of the sensor and the ESP32 board. So first of all we defined our LDR pin over here which is pin number 2. Obviously it can be any pin you like but just make sure that it is capable of reading the analog signals. Then in the setup function we just uh, define the serial begin at uh, 115200 baud rate and then in the loop function first we define an integer value which is set at val and we analog read the LDR pin which is pin number 2 over here obviously you can directly write the pin number 2 just like so over here this will also work fine but uh, for coding good practices we just uh, use the LDR pin over here then we will serial print our value so first it will print value and then the actual value the sensor is reading and then we will add a delay of 500 millisecond obviously you can increase or decrease it by just uh, changing it to 1000 let's say so it is now set to 1000 milliseconds which is basically a one second delay so to upload this code first we will go to tools 
then we will select our board first which will be the ESP32 dev module as you can see right over here so we'll just click on it and once you click on it there will be a slight pause because the Arduino environment will change from Arduino to ESP32 and then you will get all these options over here the flash mode CPU and all that stuff but uh, you, you don't need to worry about any of those because those will be all pre-selected so that's pretty nice and then all you need to do is select the COM port so in my case it is COM port 5 obviously in your case it may be some different COM ports and if you are unsure about it there is just a simple method so just uh, unplug your ESP32 module then see which COM port is missing then plug it back in and th that way you will be able to figure out which COM port your ESP is plugged in so just select that and then go ahead and simply click on upload so this uh, right arrow here so this will upload first it will compile the code and then it will upload it to the ESP32 board so as you can see now it says done uploading and you will get uh, the correct message over here just like so as you can see now all it is just uh, go to this button over here which will open up the serial monitor so just click on it and this will open up the serial monitor and uh, if you are getting any gibberish like this that is because your bud rate is, is mismatched so as you can see my bud rate over here was 115200 but uh, my bud rate on the serial monitor is 9600 so all you have to do is just uh, go to the bud rate and set it to the bud rate that you have selected so 115200 and that way as you can see now we get we are getting the value so as you can see right now we are getting the values and depending on how dark or how, how bright it is it will change the value so it will range from 0 to 4095 and let's check how this works so let me just uh, put my sensor closer to light and that way i think the value will decrease yeah so as you can see it is now from 18 or 1700 to 9 just 900 even at uh, if i put it even closer i will get 400 400 500 and sometimes 300 and if i cover the sensor in complete darkness then as you can see the value jumps up to even 2000 so there you guys that's how you can use the ldr sensor with esp32 model and do some functions in your iot system so thanks for this video guys hopefully this was helpful for you and if you have any doubts in the video then you can obviously comment down below and i will try to answer them as soon as possible so until then i will see you all later